Hey Pisces, it's Diane 303 High Priestess. This is your monthly reading for April 2020. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. We're going to go ahead and get a future message or a message from your future self. Let me get this right, okay? A message from your future self here and see uh, what you need to work on this month or what your future self wants you to know most here in the month of April. Okay, we're going to ask for clarity, wisdom, and guidance um, from the Most High here. Do uh, during the reading, we're going to go ahead and jump right in with each other. Okay. See you guys soon. Hey, Pisces. Let's see what's happening for you right now. Let's see what your higher self wants you to know in the month of April. Spirit and angel of the most high. Give me any other messages you have here for Pisces. Okay. reason i was drawn to do that pisces like cut in the middle right there I don't usually do that <laughs> pisces okay you have the star mother coming in here oh it's such a prestigious title there how can you mother yourself I feel like you're not only mothering yourself here, Pisces, you are mothering others, okay? If you're male, then you're nurturing others. That's how they're seeing you right now at this moment. And they want you to, they want to know, spirits here, how can you mother yourself? How can you nurture yourself? It gives me the feeling of the Empress card. Um coming in here okay but there is also this element of taking care of others or guiding others you're being told here pisces you are love in motion and if you allow it if you allow it okay you're already healed so you have this healing and nurturing type of energy right now at this moment. Your higher self wants you to know that your capacity to love others, to nurture others, okay, and to hold others together mm, may be limited to your capacity to love and hold yourself. So they want to put you in there too. Like, don't just care for others, Pisces. Don't just give to others. Isn't that our nature, right? Okay, to give to others all the time and forget about ourselves. They're saying be compassionate still, okay? Be compassionate, though, to your own sweet body, to your mind, to your soul, to your heart, okay? And treat yourself like the beautiful spirit that you truly are. That's what your higher self wants you to know. Let's see how we can recognize this a little further. Okay. <clears throat> see how we can re recognize this a little further here, Pisces. Excuse me. What do you want Pisces to know? Ooh, one card left. <laughs> the sun card. Oh, it always makes me happy when I see the sun card. I get excited myself. Okay. Because I know that something good is coming towards you here, Pisces. From all the energy that you poured out, that you gave to others, spilled over to others, okay? You're going to start seeing growth in your own life. And this is what you need to do. Mother yourself. Yes, there's nothing like loving yourself, okay? It's true. And it's hard, especially for a Pisces, okay? To try to take your personal power back, Okay? um from others a little bit and give to yourself a little bit more okay but i see this happening for you here in the month of april yourself you you're being illuminated at this time with the sun card being here they want you to focus on your success your vitality okay focus on the revelation or revelations or Intuitive messages that you receive from the divine here. That's the energy that's coming in. I don't know why she looked like Mother Teresa. 
for some reason the star mother okay they're talking about sacrifice Unne unnecessary sacrifice when the hangman comes in okay they're letting you know that this is a phase in your life that you're going to transition from giving too much of your energy to others okay and not totally caring for yourself so they're pointing towards sacrifice and is the sacrifice you're making necessary okay is it going to help you in some way is it making you feel good okay is it giving you hope for the future is it building you up emotionally spiritually mentally okay the sacrifice that you're making There's this energy of a pause or something becoming still for a moment here with the hangman coming in. They're bringing in the word, word stillness, okay? They're wanting you to relax and let change come. Let change come. You're so selfless. I feel like there is this energy coming in in April that you need to be a little selfish. And that's okay to turn the focus back on you, okay, to gain your energy back, okay, to uplift yourself and not do so much sacrificing, okay, where you feel stuck, used, bound, okay, and yeah, you gain new perspective, on your situation here in April. That's what I'm saying. Let's see here. The ever unfolding rose. The cracked, cracked open. This is your heart. Pisces cracking open. Look at that. She's like dipped all back. Okay. Matrix effects going on here. The illumination. Okay. The ever unfolding rose. This is your heart. It's saying it's happening for you. Not to you here that's what they're saying pisces okay hmm. i feel like you're pulling layers back off of yourself <laughs> i don't know why i say it like that but it's the rose so it feels good okay one rose petal two rose petals the ever unfolding rose or new layers layers of yourself that you're becoming aware of okay that's what i feel here something's happening for you not to you For you, not to you. I have to be still and listen to my higher self sometimes too, Pisces, and listen to, listen to my heart. I feel like this is connected to your heart chakra. That's what it's pointing to. Pisces, your higher self wants you to keep your heart open when you most want to close it even towards yourself okay let life crack you open uh through hurt and loss and experience okay and let and allow what's falling away okay to fall away because you know roses they don't keep all their petals what needs to fall away needs to fall away okay they're letting you know here that if you're going through a difficult time right now mm, don't curse the difficulty. Don't look upon it negatively. What a pessimistic, pe uh, pessimistic view point. Okay, see it as a blessing. It's happening for you, not to you. Okay, and they're letting you know that it's okay to transform. It's okay to change. It's okay to mother yourself, to take care and nurture yourself with the star mother here. Let's see what you're learning here, Pisces, at this time. What are you learning from this ever-folding rose in this cycle in life here? What is Pisces learning here in April with the ever-unfolding rose? 
and their heart. Patience. <laughs> Patience, okay, temperance and healing. This is what I was talking about, okay, with the ever unfolding rose, okay. The temperance card is presenting itself here in your reading, okay. You taking some time to focus on yourself is also going to set your standards, okay, or let you exercise the standards that you have and the boundaries that you need to have to have more harmony in your relationships and your partnerships and your marriages and in whatever connections you have, okay? I feel like you're adapting to change, finding balance with the temperance card, okay? And kind of tempering external influences doing things more in moderation as well and let letting things fall away that needs to fall away here during your journey and healing yourself from those experiences if you've been having a hard time okay that's what i'm feeling you have the star card that's beautiful major arcana cards popping in here all four talking about your stability hello okay Talking about your protection as well. You are protected here. That's what I'm saying. And the star card is bringing in happier times to you, uh, towards you because you deserve it. You're deserving of it. You've given, given so much of yourself, okay? So look towards new things coming into your life that are going to feel good. connections, relationships, personal achievements with your career or your ideas, okay? Your health looking better, your skin looking better, okay? Woo! <laughs> That's what I'm feeling here, okay? It feels really good with the star card coming in. Pisces, your higher self wants you to deal with the good and the bad things that are coming in your life. Let the bad things fall away, okay? They're saying that this action needs to be done and have high hopes for the future. I feel like there are blessings coming in when the star card is presenting itself here. There's all, also some element of spiritual guidance or uh, <laughs> the universe working things out for you, okay? And I feel relief coming from the star card. Let's see what you are leaving behind here in March. What is Pisces leaving behind in March? Pisces, Summer, Rose, and Venus sign. What energy are they leaving behind in March? judgment card Woo. okay you're leaving the past behind with the judgment card the old soul ties you're leaving that behind okay this is a time of rebirth and renewal okay and change change for the better you're either finding a new path a new spiritual path career or awakening or you're seeing um you're reflecting, okay, on things that you need to leave here in March. Not stuck on it, reflecting. That's why you have the Six of Swords here in the present moment. Look, you got your bags packed. You got your <laughs> the suitcase there. You got it packed. Okay, your birds. <laughs> this is um, wisdom, okay, with the crows being here. I believe that's a crow. It's also guidance as well towards a new state of mind. It's also why we have the temperance card coming in here. And the hangman, new perspective. So you gain a new state of mind right now at this moment and see a new path forward. You're leaving confusion, disappointment, okay? The present 
and the future energy here. You have the King of Cups. So the ever unfolding rose is telling you to still give out the highest energy of all love. We're going to do that. I know Pisces will do that, okay? There's also, also this energy to take care of yourself spiritually, okay? And don't forget about yourself here in the near future with the King of Cups coming up, okay? They're saying that you have very deep emotions. Rely on them for forward movement and to keep moving forward here, okay? Heal yourself and find peace within yourself. Let's get a message for you here, Pisces. What message do you have here for Pisces? April 2020, some arriving being sign. Spirit and angel guys, what would you like Pisces to know? One card. One card for Pisces. I love reading for you guys, Pisces. Let's go for it. Yes, yes. Okay. Free yourself, Pisces, from judgment. And you're free to love. This is what I've been talking about here. Okay, this is a message about love and who you're loving. And if you're loving yourself, okay. They're telling you, Pisces, if you're feeling alone or lonely here. Okay, you're being told to settle into your body, mind, body, and spirit. And feel your connection with life itself and do something nice for yourself. Okay. As you're always doing something nice for someone else. Make sure you give that energy back to yourself, okay? That's what I'm hearing here. That is your message, Pisces. This is your reading for April 2020, Summer Rise of the Venus sign. Thank you guys for coming back to watch your reading. I do appreciate it. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video for me. Hit the notification bell. I will be back with you. See you guys soon. Bye.